Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please give us a call if you guys are looking to improve your credit score, lower your car payment, buy a car, trade in a car. Uh, if you're looking to purchase your first home, if you're looking to purchase a rental property, we can help you. Give us a call today, 877-205-7771. Talk to you guys soon and thanks again. Hello everyone, this is Calvin Russell, CEO and founder of 850 Club Credit Consultation. Hope everyone is doing well today. Today we're going to talk about three things you never want to do with your credit cards. Let's get straight into it. Number one, you never want to be late on a credit card payment, especially if you have a minimum payment. Okay, If you have a minimum monthly payment, it's not a good look uh, to be late on it, mainly because most minimum payments are in the neighborhood of $25, especially for you know when you're first getting started, you know, building your balance, uh, which by the way, you don't necessarily have to build a balance in order to build credit. That's in another video, of course, that I've already done. Um, but of course, if you're around $25 a month or $35 a month or $100 a month, you never want to be late on that particular payment. It's not a good look because as you start to build your balances, the payments get higher. Also, banks look at that as well, too, not just because it's a late payment, but because, you know, if you're looking to, let's say, get a higher limit credit card, that's going to uh, be turn into a higher balance. If you have a higher balance, that's going to equal a higher monthly payment. So, of course, you never want to be late on it. And, of course, another reason is you don't want to drop your score because of that. Number two. You do not want to max out your credit card. If you max out your credit card, of course, not only will your score go down, uh, but again, other credit card companies are not going to look at that. Uh, they, well, they're going to look at that as a negative factor. So uh, it's going to be one of the reasons as to why you may be able to uh, when you you know, get denied uh, for another uh, you know, credit card. So that's the number two. You never want to uh, go into a situation where you got a credit card, you're using too much of it, and now, of course, you max it out. And then that kind of leads into number three. Number three is you never want to ask for a credit limit increase uh, you know, at the wrong time. If you ask for a credit limit increase at the wrong time, um, let's say, for example, if your credit card is maxed out or the utilization is too high, utilization is the balance divided by the limit. Um, of course, that's going to give you a certain percentage. So if your percentage is, um, let's say, for example, I would say over 50 percent, over 30 percent, over 80 percent maxed out, you do not want to ask for a credit limit increase. Um, I'm not saying that you're that you won't be able to get approved, but you, you do a lot better if you ask for a credit limit increase. If your balance is under 30 percent, OK, utilization. Um, so, for example, if your limit is, let's say, a thousand, you the, a great time to ask for a credit limit increase will be if your balance is under 300 okay so that would be you no know, the rule of thumb everyone always talks about 30 percent me personally i tell my clients 10 percent or lower okay but that's what you want to do so number one you never want to be late especially if you have a minimum payment number two you don't want to max out your credit card and of course number three you don't want to ask for a credit limit increase at the wrong time if you've just been late on a payment if you max out your credit card if you just got the credit card uh, there's a lot of you know, factors that kind of go into it and you know when it's the right time when your balance is extremely low or at zero and if you had the credit card for at least five to six months those are great times to do it if you got a, a raise at your job that helps if you have new assets like a new car a new home that most definitely helps as well too all right so of course if you like this video be sure to like it if you want to share it share it and as always be sure to subscribe to all of our great videos as we got more videos on the way thank you so much talk to you soon